Minneapolis News 4 at 5. Welcome. Thank you for joining us at 5. I'm Kevin Ogle. And I'm Jolene Cheney. In for Heather, for years we've warned you about scammers upping their tactics to steal your money, even if that means faking the kidnapping of a loved one and demands, demanding ransom. And this evening we're hearing from an Oklahoma mom who was traumatized after believing her 20-year-old son's life was in danger. News Force Caitlin Ogle spoke to that mom today, and Caitlin, she's now out thousands of dollars. Brandy Anthony says she didn't have time to think clearly. The scammers knew what to say to keep her terrified and believing they were going to kill her son if she didn't send the money and fast. It was torture. Brandy Anthony is still shaken a week after her 60 year old mother got a call from a stranger and handed the phone to Brandy. He tells me that he's got my son and that my son crossed his path at the wrong time and that he's kept him from delivering a very, very important load and he needs his money and he needs it quick or he's gonna kill my son. If I hung up, he would blow my son's head off. With no time to think, she followed orders to go to the bank. The scammer said her son cost them six grand. To convince Brandy this was real, the fake captors put an imposter on the line. Had my son's voice and everything and he was crying hysterical. He didn't know what to do. Brandy now believes they used AI technology to clone her son's voice. The scammer also told Brandy to hide the phone in her shirt and go into a local Walmart. I walked into Western Union. He told me to send it to Mes Mexico, federal district something. Brandy says she was ordered to go in twice, ultimately sending three grand to the con artist. He made her tear up one receipt, but she kept the pieces. I cried. I said, I sent you the money. Are you going to deliver my son? Put Caleb on the phone. I said, Caleb, are they letting you go? They're letting me go, mom. They're letting me go. And then the phone gets hung up. The scammer told Brandy he'd bring her son to the Walmart parking lot, but she couldn't find him. After constantly calling her son, he eventually called back. Turns out he was at work the entire time. They had just enough information to keep me going, to keep, you know, Keep me believing them. Brandy has since filed a report with Norman Police. I feel dumb. I feel violated. I feel disturbed that people are actually out there doing this. And Brandy wishes someone would have noticed something was wrong while taking out and sending the money and stopped her or even a literal warning sign. Western Union says if you think you've been scammed, you need to report it to them and I'll have that number over on KFOR.com.